All right, my friends, so as I promised you, it's time for us to write some code and deal with it in the web browser. So once again, we are going to write our code here inside our app.js, but specifically, we are going write, to write it inside this app function, okay, because this app function, it is the only thing that was exported, okay, so anything that you are going to write it outside this function, will not be available and you are not gonna see it in the web browser because once again the index.js will take anything inside the app okay and render it inside the web browser okay and the app it's presented by this function right here okay so what I will do I will create a variable okay let's call it name equal to for example my name let's go with my name okay and here what I will do I will go ahead and return it okay I'm gonna return name but I'm not gonna return it like this what I will do I will return it in an HTML tag okay so I'm gonna type name and to show my name like this I need to add a brackets okay and I'm gonna explain everything in a matter of second just give me some time what I have did I have created a variable okay now this function right here it is of the third type that we have talked about in the error function lesson it is the function that is going to return something and this thing that was returned it is an h1 tag okay it's a title or a heading title and the value of it will be name which is this value right here now if you are wondering why i have added these brackets around in the name well because if we leave it like this without a brackets then it is this will assume that this is an html okay this is a text a normal text but what i want to do i want to make a reference to my variable and in order for me to write a javascript inside html then i need to use jsx or javascript xml jsx essentially mean that you are gonna write javascript code inside your html okay so we are gonna use javascript inside your html so here i have html which is the h1 tag and in order for me to use javascript inside it okay i want to make a reference to this variable which is javascript then i need to add it in a brackets okay like so now i'm gonna delete this thing okay now what i want to do i want to run this thing right here in the web browser and let's see how it's gonna work so click on terminal new terminal and in order for me to run our code in the web browser let me open the package to a json file here we have this start script take a look on the script area we have the start right here this a pre-built class built by the react application or by, by the create react app package and if we want to run our, our application we only need to call this script right here okay and in order for us to call any script not the start what we can do i'm just gonna type npm run then the name of the script okay type npm run the name of your script but in this case since we we have these type of scripts okay the start and test these type of uh, scripts they are well, what we can do by default we can access them typing npm then only the name of the script i mean the npm start for example or npm test this is only going to work for the start and the test okay but the other scripts we need to type npm run then the name of the, the script but since you are using the start or the test then you only can type npm start like so i'm gonna type start and let's see what we we can get we are gonna get the web browser okay let me show you it's gonna take a second starting the development server and as you can see we have the web browser right here so as you can see we have an error okay very very interested we have an error inside our app.js in line 13 it says react must be in a scope when you are using jsx now i didn't want to 
use that or to show you until we get this error actually this is a very very good error we can see that here we are using javascript which is these brackets right here around the variable name inside our html this is a jsx right in order for us to use jsx in any module then react must be imported in that specific module so here on the top i'm just gonna import react i'm gonna type import react from the react package okay so i do not know the path of the react package but when you are importing something from a package from package that you have installed or a package that come by default with the create react app then you can type the name of the package in this case react like so so if we take a look and now going back to the web browser we can see my name being rendered successfully okay so once again we have imported react because we have used jsx which is javascript inside html once again we can change this variable name to something else for example i'm just gonna type um, let's say android developer if we go back we are gonna see a refresh that says android developer very very cool so in this video we have showed you how you can render something to them a browser and we can all we have also take a look on why we should import react in any uh, js file because we are going to use jsx a lot so hopefully that makes sense in the next video we are going to start working maybe with arrays and we are going to see how they are very important concepts thank you my friends so much for watching see you in another one